person that's preparing. I mean, they do too, but they ultimately, the taxpayer has to sign it. And, 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 and you're responsible for what's on it and what comes back to you if you have anything that's coming back. Um, what I'll, I found interesting. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Mr. Meek, what I found interesting was uh, our commitment to small business in this stimulus package. I think that uh, too often small business is overlooked for the, and, and forsaken for the big mega corporate uh, folks who are always getting the tax breaks, but this stimulus package also takes into account our small business, our mom and pop, our emerging uh, new startups, and, and other com organizations in, in, our com in our communities. Uh, the plan will double the amount small businesses can immediately write off their taxes for capital investments made in 2008 from 125 to 250,000, and for purchases of new equipment up to 800,000 from 500,000 and that's that's significant because with the cost rising for materials for, for oil people don't recognize what the, the, the rising cost in oil alone does to small business particularly for those who have to have their goods or their services trucked or or shipped um, all of that goes into the bottom line of someone who's trying to operate a small operation. It also provides immediate tax relief for all businesses to invest into new plants, equipment, by speeding up the depreciation provisions so that firms can write off an additional 50% off of investments purchased in 2008. That is extraordinary. And that is extraordinary because, again, small business is really saddled with the weight of an economy that has been skyrocketing, particularly, with, like I said, with the cost of oil and with the cost of doing business overall just escalating each and every year. And we expect that there will be about $7.5 billion sent out to small business in, in small business investment over the next 10 years, close to $44 billion in 2008 alone. So, you know, we have looked at every sector of the economy that may be struggling as a result of the sluggishness of the economy at this time, recession in some areas would say even depression in others but for our businesses it's important that we provide that buffer so that they're enabled to continue to grow notwithstanding the challenges that they're facing right now so we have covered many bases with this stimulus package we have covered both the home and the family as well as the small business environment of our communities and I hope that as you said everyone will take advantage of uh, the, the, the rebates and the incentives that have been built in to this uh, stimulus package because we're counting on you to spend it out there. It's important. We want to make sure that we can uh, provide the life support to our economy that's required so that we don't fall any, any deeper into economic crisis. And this is just the opening salvo. We have a lot more to work out for our communities, for our nation, with sustainable job development and job growth. And I'm looking forward to that part of the conversation because we're in the 21st century here. We've got the talent, we've got the expertise, we've got the ability out there. We have to be able to make sure that we drive the process of economic growth right here starting from the Hill. And I yield to you, Mr. Meek. Thank you so very much, Ms. Clark. And um, I always enjoy when um, the two of us are on the floor because I kind of like that New York, Florida thing going on. <laughs> and I can, I could, uh, you know, I, I, I tell, I tell a lot of folks, Mr. Speaker, whenever I'm in New York, um, I always 